much. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So the first thing is this, right? What makes you think that you're actually ready to buy a home? And why do you want to buy a home? Um, I've been renting for three years. Um, okay. And I have the 20% down payment. Okay. Um, where, where, what's your what's your area? What state are you in? I'm in New Jersey currently. Okay. New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Okay. How much money do you have for the down payment? Um, 38000 $38,000. Do you have any debt? Um, no. I mean, a few credit cards under $600. Total? Yeah. Do they accumulate every month and you pay them off every month? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so no debt. Uh, how, how, by the way, how much do you owe in collections? Uh, it's about, I want to say 2312 Two thousand. What is it? Two thousand three hundred twelve. Two thousand three hundred twelve. Mm hmm Okay. Anything else? Student loan debt. No. Car. I own car. Nope. Okay. And you have an emergency fund? Um, not really. I've been investing more than I've been saving. Okay. But I. How am much do you have on. in your investment account? Um, about twenty thousand. And is that is that like retirement account or is it a, a normal taxable account? No, just a brokerage account. Why? Why? Yeah. Uh because I started investing before I did anything else. So I kinda had a head start in that area. Okay. All right. So here here's what I'm looking at, right? What are, what what would you say are your monthly expenses? Like let's let's break it down here, right? You have shelter you have utilities, mm -hmm. you have groceries, and you have transportation, right? In this case, so how much mm -hmm. is your rent? Twelve fifty. Twelve fifty, and how much is your utilities? You would say like internet, um, Wi-Fi, same uh, thing. I say one twenty. Okay, so you have Wi-Fi, you have light, you have water, um, you have uh, your phone one, bill. One, oh, uh, let's say two thirty. All right, let's say three hundred dollars for that. Um, mm -hmm. What about your um, your your groceries? How much do you spend there on food? Oh, uh, one per month. A, one week, so three six hundred a month. Six hundred dollars a month. And are you single? No, I'm married. Is that is that you and your husband? No, I'm going to be purchasing the home. No, 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 no. I'm talking about this six hundred dollars for food. Is that just for you, or you and your husband? Me, my husband, and our two children. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so that's that's fair. That's fair. Um, I'll actually I'll actually say eight hundred dollars for that, just in case. Um, and then your car. You said the car is paid off, right? So, mm -hmm. maintenance, um, gas, and insurance. How much would you say that is? Um, let's say about six hundred per month. Maybe honestly, actually less than that. We'll say. Let's say 500 just to be on the safe side. 500 And by the way, um, before I add this up, because that's new information, right? You have a husband. Mm -hmm. Is your husband also on the same page with you? Like as far as, for example, like the debt-free thing? No. So he's in debt? Yeah, he has like student loans and things like that. Okay. And mm -hmm. are you guys trying to get to the same page on that? Or is it kind of like you want to, you, you kind of want to like um, do it on yourself? Yeah, we kind of decided like I will purchase our first home. And this, yeah, this is only like our starter home. Like, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. The re the reason I ask, right, is because like when you're in a household and you're married, like you guys become one, right? So it's like whatever his debt is, it kind of becomes your debt also. So when I look at this picture, I was looking at it like, okay, I'm single, I'm this and that, but you have kids and you have like a husband, right? So it's kind of like, um, you might say that you're personally like I'm out of debt, but in reality, the family is in debt. So I'll do this math like the way you want me to do it, but I still according to what I believe you're in debt. So you're looking at like 28, I mean like $2,850 basically are your, are your expenses, not including, for example, like, let's say, let's just up it up to $3,000, right? Because you might have like extra things going on, like Netflix subscriptions, your kids or whatever. So if you have a $3,000 monthly expense, um, if you multiply that, for example, by three, you're looking at $9,000. 
If you multiply it by, for example, um, six, um, you're looking at $18,000. Tommy, what are these numbers? This is your emergency fund. Because when things go wrong, you need to do this. And when you buy a home, a lot of things can go wrong. The roof can start leaking, something can break. A lot of things can go wrong. So what I mean is your $38,000, if you want to do six months, well, that just turned into, for example, um, $20,000 right there. If you want to do, yeah, if yeah, for the emergency fund, because that's super important and you have kids, right? So if you do lose your job and you're kind of operating like from a sense of like, I'm kind of trying to take care of this stuff on my own. If you do lose your job, you want to have the money there to take care of your core expenses, at least for three to six months. Does that make sense? Definitely. Yeah. So you're looking at, so the first thing I would do is if I'm you, okay. If I'm being honest, because I got to be honest, if I'm you, I'll get on the same page with my husband and try to come to a conclusive answer, right? So if you have loans, let's work on these things together first, and then we buy the home on the same on the same storyline, meaning we both are debt-free, we both want the same exact things, and now we're going to be heading towards this home because two people paddling in the same direction is a lot safer and stronger and faster than just you doing it on your own. Does that make sense? Yeah, 